Now a slight feeling of deja vu when I say Wolverhampton Wanderers have got a new manager. Let's face it, they've had a few recently. This time though, different job title, head coach, so a slight change of direction. And let's face it, after making history by becoming the only club to suffer back-to-back -back relegations from the top flight twice, they needed a change of direction. Wolves have a new manager. Not him, that's Terry Connor. And no, not him, that's Stoller Solbakken. And no, not him either, that's Dean Saunders. This is Kenny Jackett, the club's fifth manager in 15 months. When the first of those managerial dominoes fell, that of Mick McCarthy, Wolves were in the Premier League. Now, they're not even in the Championship. So what does the latest arrival bring to the dugout? I think that I can bring some experience, I think I can point them in the right direction and, and actually uh, use the, the, the very good structure that they have. I mean, they have a, a fantastic a academy and, and uh, you know, it's a, a major boost for the club and, you know, they're assets that I want to be using as the head coach to, 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 to make sure that we have a, a successful first team. Unlike those before him, Jacket is not manager. Instead, he becomes head coach, working closely with director of football Kevin Thorwell. It's a system that's long been in place at Wolves' arch rivals, West Bromwich Albion, who are now an established top flight team. Don't expect the baggies to be given any credit, though. Head coach with the director of football, I'm sure I've seen that work quite well just up the road from here. Well, it's been working. Uh, it's been working quite well in lots of places, you know, particularly abroad. But I think um, I think lots of clubs are now starting to look at the way in which they organise what is a very important part of the uh, of the football club. And Jacket will, I'm told, have the final say on signings, perhaps the start of a bright future. One man who's been involved with Wolves' rise and subsequent free fall is this man, Chief Executive Jez Moxie. Well, I'm not sure we've got uh, long enough to actually run through everything that we've gone through and uh, learn from. Uh, mistakes that have been made, um, learn from the experiences that are sometimes cruel and difficult to handle. But um, I think we are an experienced football club who knows what it's doing. And in this appointment, um, I hope that fans will see that positivity. And this appointment does make sense. Jacket was involved in promotions at Watford, Swansea and Millwall, who he also led to a Wembley FA Cup semi-final. So success in London and in his home country, Wales, but he's new to the Midlands. If you need anyone to show you around the Midlands, just ask, we'll, we'll sort it out for you. Yeah, no, I understand it's, it's always sunny up here as well. <laughs> yeah. It's a t t terrific day. So. That's a lie I tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Jacket will want an honest commitment from the players when they return on June the 24th. A woman from Chesterfield who was born with...